this is the state of the world. You're about to be unleashed into the world to meet in gardens and parks with your friends. You're gonna want a toast. You need a cocktail or a mocktail befitting this occasion. But you're easily exhausted by fanfare, haven't been socializing lately, don't have the energy to restock your pantry. You need a hero ingredient that's going to make a cocktail you can throw together with what you've already got in the fridge and in your cupboard to make it befitting of this special occasion and just a little bit glamorous. So come into the kitchen with me. I'm gonna show you how to do it. The most important ingredient that's gonna totally transform what you could make from your fridge is ginger. Our hero ingredient, which we're going to use to make ginger water. Even this dried out shriveled ginger, that is what I have in my pantry, is gonna make some delightful cocktails today. I broke our blender yesterday, so everything I'm gonna show you how to do, you don't even need a blender for. Ginger water. First step, peel your ginger. About this much, we'll be able to make six cocktails. Grate your ginger. <laughs> I'm gonna use a glove because I'm super clumsy. Now we've got our grated ginger. We need a bowl to steep it in and some boiling water. Here's my ginger. It's been steeping. Now, we're going to class it up a little bit with some lime. In order to make this ginger water a real, like, hero ingredient to any cocktail or drink you could imagine, we're gonna add a few flavors. I'm gonna do this to taste. Mm. I'm gonna do one more lime, two limes. Now we've got our lime and ginger in here, it's spicy, it's tangy. It's not quite ready though. We're going to strain it into a bowl and really gently, so like no bitterness gets in. This is some mint syrup I made yesterday. This is the only sugar because we might end up mixing this with something already quite sweet. Spicy, tangy, sweet, and herbaceous all together guaranteed to round out any drink you could imagine. On second thought, I poured in almost all of the mint syrup and added two more limes. So there are four limes in here, most of a jar of mint syrup, and now the flavor is really singing. And I'm going to bottle it to test drive in some cocktails and mocktails in a minute. So here we have it, our ginger syrup. That's a piece of mint. <laughs> Ooh, it's really good. Um, super potent. It's kind of got that fire. This party's really great. Don't you think these drinks are delicious? Mm. Yeah, it's whatever. As long as they have alcohol. So what do you do? I'm a YouTuber. Oh, me too. How many followers do you have? 90. It tastes like cough syrup and childhood trauma. Welcome to my cocktail laboratory. Please sit down with me. We're going to find the best uses 
from random things in my refrigerator for our hero ingredient, ginger syrup. I don't know about you, but I am so sick of sweet, sugary, sickly cocktails. That is why this for me is the Nifu Ultra of cocktail ingredients, because it's got a kick. Toned down with a little bit of freshness, citrusiness for summer, and of course, our mint syrup. First of all, we're gonna prep our ginger syrup. Cocktail number one, the humble Coke. You're out at a picnic, you've just brought a little to-go cup of your ginger syrup, someone brought liquor, it's really easy to get a Coke. Let's see if this ginger syrup transforms the most basic of cocktail mixers into something fancier. It's kind of like homemade lemon coke, but it's ginger and lime. A bit too sweet, this one. We've already got the sugar and the mint syrup. I'm gonna try a hack that you can do in any cocktail to bring out the flavor and kind of balance and tone down sugars, and that is salt. Let's see if a pinch of salt makes this. Hmm, that's actually pretty decent. The Coke and ginger syrup mixer. Moving on, something else that I actually don't love because it reminds me of cough syrup, but is super readily available. Rabenna, black currant syrup. Ugh, it tastes like cough syrup in childhood trauma. Very popular in the UK. Just a teeny bit, it's pretty. This toned down with some soda water, very fizzy, and now, That's actually quite nice. It doesn't taste anything like Ravenna, which to me is a positive. This has got a lot of flavors going. I actually think this might be my new park picnic cocktail go-to. In that vein, let's move on to something savory. I wanted to see if this might work. Beetroot juice. I like beets, but that's a bit much. Let's start with this. This one definitely is gonna bring out some salt. That is delightful. This is a definite winner so far. If you have a can of beets, um, the syrup of which you will never drink. Save it. Ooh. This is a winner. Okay, in this vein, I want to move on to another savory experiment. I'm a big fan of a pickleback shot. Oh, I need a shot of whiskey. Which is whiskey and pickle juice. Let's see how our ginger pairs with pickle juice. This could be hit or miss.
not bad. This one definitely would be a whiskey drink, and I think it could use some more lime, but it's actually quite balanced. The pickle's super sour, which we don't really have in our syrup. There's lime, but it, it's got this more zesty, fruity vibe, so this is actually pretty good. And now for another super basic ingredient, classic cocktail, pressed up. Let's try orange juice. As a native Floridian, this one is dear to my heart. Good all by itself. this one. Orange juice is a bit too sweet. That might cure it. Ginger and orange just are so perfect together. This is definitely gonna make even a better version of a mimosa. If you have a little Prosecco for a special occasion in the park, celebrating your freedom from lockdown, just bring a can of Tropicana and this might be a weird one, but it might be a hit. I actually don't love Vija Coco by itself. Actually, it's pretty good, but much, much too plain for a cocktail mixer all alone. However, how pina colada colored. And this I'm gonna salt because all those electrolytes are gonna make this one like really refreshing. Ooh, that's a stealth hit. Got that spiciness of ginger, all those flavors, but it's still very tropical. I'm gonna give this four out of five, two out of five, three out of five, five out of five, three and a half out of five, three. This mimosa, is what you bring on your Tinder date in the park with Prosecco, very impressive and yet extremely low maintenance. This is what you bring to your park picnic brunch with girlfriends. Delicious, surprising, and so chic. Amongst these choices though, still, I swear, though it sounds weird, beetroot juice, salt, and ginger syrup is divine. This is definitely a vodka drink. It's basically a beet version of like V8, but cool, refreshing, and much more thirst quenching. Also, this is my new favorite color for summer cocktail. Cheers.